Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 3 on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, released in 1988 by Ocean. It was also released on the Commodore, the Amstrad, the Amiga and the Atari ST. Do not confuse it with the Sega ports on the Mass System Mega Drive or the Tato Arcade Machine, of which I have gameplays of all of them. Now, this was a quite a successful game back in the day and it's based on the third entry in the Rambo series. Uh, and I absolutely love the Rambo series. Um, I think this is probably my second favourite movie in that series. Don't like 4, bit too gritty. 2 is kind of a bit too fast call and obviously one is an amazing masterpiece of observation on how Vietnam vets were treated. Anyway, John Rambo goes to uh, to um, Afghanistan, who, which is currently involved in the uh, the war with the um, the Russians, who have kidnapped Colonel Trotman, his only mate and uh, mentor from back in the day in Nam. So yeah, and that means technically, does that mean it's like um, oh wow, well, um, the living daylights that you fight alongside the Taliban? I don't know, don't quote me. So, yeah, Rambo 3, by the way, cut. Cut to hell in this country in the cinema. And further cuts on VHS. Not sure why. I think it's quite tame. Has that awesome bit, though, where he has to stick the gunpowder in his wound. Sorry, spoilers! To cauterise it. Anyway, right, so, basically, this is divided into three stages. Stage one is top-down sort of gauntlet exploration game. Uh, I never got further than the first level, which I'm probably not going to get further than in this. Stage two, not sure about, never got there. Stage three is an Operation Wolf-style shooting game that's absolutely batshit insane crazy hard. And it came free on the front of a magazine back in the day, so I can show you a bit of that. Anyway, right, let's get into it. Five. Define keys. Keys of gods. Q up. A down. O left. P right. M fire people. Not space. That's a rookie mistake. M. Z. Pause. Right. So this is 1 to 8K version. Hence the funky music. Which I think disappears in the game. Anyway, Rambo 2 was a massive success for Ocean. So it makes sense that they bought the rights to this. So we've got to rescue Colonel Trautman on the first stage. There you go. Search the enemy fort and find Colonel Trautman to complete your first part of your mission. Go for it. Go for it, like Rocky Five, which is not yet, I don't think. Anyway, right, so there I am. Top down, bottom right hand corner, my face. Uh, Rambo 3 telling me that I'm playing Rambo 3 in case I forgot. You know, it's the 80s. And yeah, knife bottom left hand corner. So I don't know what the relevance is. Is the face my health or is it just a shade? Look, you know, I'm Rambo. Um, I would know that. Sorry. But yeah, I quite like Rumble 3. Uh, choreography and the stick fighting at the start is terrible. Saw the interview with uh, Oprah Winfrey back in the day when Stallone's on in his big white open floral shirt and his amazing fucking haircut mullet thing. Brilliant. Anyway, I can't stay mad at you, Stallone. I love you. That was awkward. <laughs> um, right, fire. I've got the, the, the least range ever on a gun. I don't know. So there's blokes around. You go through doors. Oh, I can strafe. Oh. They're committed to their job. Eyes front, people. Right, so is this supposed to be a knife? Because it's fucking awful. I literally have to be right in front of them. That's like a knife, I guess. Uh, right, so, yeah, graphically, not terrible, quite nice, monochromic, mixed monochromic, I would say, which is the strength of the spectrum, so attribute clash, although we didn't really consider this attribute clash back in the day, I do like that strafing control. Now, I don't know about the other versions, I do know the spectrum version, um, probably rightly so, because Ocean were around about this time, just gods. Um, yeah, the spectrum version got really, really good reviews. Don't know where I'm looking for Colonel Trautman, but yeah. Oh, okay. But why do I feel like I'm more on a pirate ship? A pirate movie with Sylvester Stallone. As said pirate. That would have been amazing. Anyway, I think I'm in some sort of underground bunker, but it feels very much a pirate ship. You can go through any doors, but the bugs respawn. Oh, and now they got guns. I don't like that. I don't know, I thought that was something I could pick up. Surely I can get guns. I'm Rambo. Right. So, this would appear that the map is quite large. You're quite large, sorry. What is that?
Right, well, I've got inventory, which is interesting, because it doesn't tell me I have inventory on the, you know, um, the finding my keys. So that's a bit of a fuck up. It's a Rambo game, I'm allowed to swear. Source material and stuff. Right, was that even worth coming down here? This would appear to be quite large. Sorry, love. Sorry. Right, so is the knife my health? Or I think the face, I don't know, unless my my face icon starting to lose his hair. Is that health? I don't know. If you had this back in the day, on any of the formats, particularly the Spectrum, let me know what you thought. Did you beat it? I don't think it's a bad game. I just think, much like most of the games I play here, and ones I revisit after years, uh, it's not a bad game. I'm just pretty shite at it. There's got to be... No. There has to be some sort of pick shit up thing. Else, well, if there isn't, I hope there aren't any bloody keys. This is huge. See, that's got to be something. Right. Zed's pause. I'm just hammering keys now. Right. H. H, not H. I hate it when people say H. Sorry, I'm a snob. Um, make some noise. Oh. So what's the deal with that? I mean, if I was, you know, the Russians, at this point... I'd be shitting my pants because look, just one bloke with a gun that only fires three inches in front of him is decimated. What? Twenty-five troops? I would know that. Or something. Right. Okay. Wasn't there a rumor there was going to be another Rambo sequel in in Mexico? You have touched the electric door and totally frazzled. All right. Don't you? I know what you're going to do, aren't you? Oi! Oh, yeah, say in Mexico or something, after he got home at the end of the events of John Rambo. By the way, boring random fact, I saw, when I first saw the trailer for John Rambo, um, ah, fuck it, it's Rambo 4. Well, it is Rambo 4, because I have a foreign cut of it where it's, the case says Rambo 4. Yeah, when I saw the trailer, they cut out the bit where he, sorry, spoilers, machetes the bloke's head off. So you just see him raise his hand and the bloke's head pop off. Like, you can't see the machete, but you can see the head separate from the neck stump. And so it totally looks like he uppercuts um, the guy's head off, which I thought is what it was for, for ages, because I hadn't seen the movie at that point. And to be fair, when it happened in the movie, the, the, the machete... I was just a little bit disappointed. I was like, no, I would have preferred him to uppercut the head off. He's friggin' Rambo, for God's sake. <laughs> Sorry. Now, there's an amazing movie, by the way, where, you know, he takes the piss out of Rambo and tries to, you know, I don't know, show that he can actually, t you know, he puts the voice on, which is Tango and Cash. Friggin' love Tango and Cash. Technically, we could probably do a sequel of them now, even though they're kind of old. I'd see it. Right, which way did I go? Ooh, they're pissed. I've got no idea where I'm going. I think I can. Uh, there was a map in Crash Magazine, I think. I got a feeling I came there. Although, I'm not going to lie, everything's starting to look ever so slightly Millhouse. The same. I'm stuck. There we go. Oh no, the bottom right hand corner is my health. Yeah, he wasn't losing his hair, he was losing everything over his skull. That's kind of cool and a little bit creepy, but mainly cool. Um, so yeah, I'm obviously missing a trick. Obviously missing where the bl bloody hell... And obviously it's not all set inside. I've seen, you know, magazine shots where you get outside and stuff. But yeah, I'm obviously never going to find Colonel Trotman. That's a dead end. I am going in the wrong direction. Oh. A parallel universe somewhere. Rambo was an accountant. Oh! That'd be kind of cool. Probably wouldn't be built like a brick shit house. Or maybe he was, and that was his trick to get your taxes lowered and shit. Right. Yoink. Well, I'm sorry if I'm boring the living tits out of you. To be fair, not knowing what I'm actually doing or how I should be picking up stuff is, well, boring the living tits out of me. But, you know, graphically, lack of music for 1 to 8k games a bit pants, I'm not going to lie, but yeah. I'm just lost in a world of not knowing where I'm going. Kind of like my real life, to be fair. 
In fact, I'm probably going. Oh, look, he's red. Bottom right hand corner. And he's dead. Right, you have too many injuries to be able to continue. Yes, otherwise known as being dead. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit of the um, the uh, the kind of Operation Wolf bit. I want to type in tits. Why won't you let me type in tits? All right, you're a bastard, yeah. Which was free on the front of either your Sinclair, Sinclair use your Crash magazine. Sorry, I can't, you know, put it down any more than that. And I remember thinking back in the day, I don't think I'll buy this game if it's all like this, because it's balls hard. Anyway, let's have a look at it. Yoink. Your Sinclair. That was it, your Sinclair. I used to love demo discs on the front of magazines back in the day. Right, so, here we go. Funky, more 128K music. Five to find keys. Right, uh, up, down, left, right. You know the rules, M. Said. On keyboard. Right. So, uh, survive the enemy attack until you reach the border, then destroy the final helicopter attack mission. This would be the third section of the game, then. Sorry, can't show you the second section. Probably because I was crap at the first section. Crosshair, hold it down. Operation Wolf. Tanks. Fucking helicopters. Heinz, I believe. Uh, blokes. Rockets. Shit just finds your face. Am I in a helicopter? Uh, because of the, the display down below? Because if I am in a helicopter, why are you flying so close to the floor and why are you so weak? But yeah, graphically not terrible, you know, the, the way they fake scaling is actually kind of impressive because it never really did that in stuff like Operation Wolf, which was by Ocean as well, and I have a gameplay of it. It's an amazing port of the arcade game, but yeah. This is a small part of Section 3. The full game is three sections available soon on Spectrum, Amstead, Commodore, and Atari ST. There was an Amiga, I'm sure there was an Amiga. Right. Do we have another go? Enter your name. Why won't anyone let me enter Tits? Tits McGee. I can't obviously enter the McGee bit. Right. Really? It timed out. Not sure why it timed out, but hey, define keys again. But yeah, see what I mean? That's absolutely batshit and crazy. I don't know why I'm putting Z in. <laughs> I'm not around long enough. I'm not alive long enough to friggin' pause the Rambo music. Right. Right, I'm just going for the choppers. Get to the chopper, wrong franchise. I can shoot. Maybe I am in a hind then, because obviously my machine gun is pretty powerful. Pause. Let's see if I can... There we go. Pause a hind up close for you. Oh. There you go. Look, the thing's flashing, which means I'm about to die. So, yeah. War. This is why you shouldn't go to war, kids. It's like this, but in real form and much more painful. See? There you go. I've just saved a generation from massacring themselves. Rambo 3 on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Part 1 and Part 3. Bit of a random way to do it. I know, but probably the only way I was ever going to be able to show the third part. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.